So four tests, standard molecular tests, rapid molecular tests, closed systems, and the lateral flow tests, which are the rapid antigen tests and the home antigen tests. Now, just want this slide to explain when does one become positive and one what is the... So if you compare the molecular test with the lateral flow test, which are the rapid antigen or the home antigen test, they are marked uh, with green when they detect from day three to day eight, they are able to detect it after exposure. So if you start to the beginning of the curve from day zero, you get exposed. So the first day you will test negative, whatever test you do. You're ex it takes time for the virus to grow in your system. So that is known as the latent period. And so from day three onwards, it will be detectable in the lateral flow tests and will be detectable up to day eight, which is the infectious period. Day eight meaning after one day. That is why the discharge policy and all the home isolation policies are focusing on seven day discharge. And that is how it explains the whole uh, physiology or the pathology of the whole system. Now here I just want to remember that long red line which is detectable by PCR, that continues to be positive even after day eight because certain RNA particles which are non-infective, here remember certain RNA particles which are non-infective will continue to be shed and will continue to be the, or cause the RT-PCR test to be positive. So for Omicron, what has become the backbone is the lateral flow test with, uh, with the PCR test also serving as confirmatory at some places where the are uh, uh, symptomatic individuals when the lateral flow test is negative, then you may have to do a RT-PCR test uh, 